Well, welcome back to Living Local. Time to check with Movie Mike once again for what's new in theaters. Mike Schultz, our editor for the River Cities Reader, back with us for a review of some of the new movies that are already in theaters and a preview of the ones opening up this weekend. Sounds Thanks like a plan. Here. Yeah, pleasure. All right, we got three and three. Uh, three last week, three this, this week. Yes, we do, yes. And uh, last week, you were uh, the, probably the biggest fan, I would say, of Ad Astra. Ad Astra, yeah, mm, okay. I really dug this. This one was huh. good. Uh, Sci-fi movie with Mr. Brad Pitt, as you can see there. He's yes, lovely. this is about an astronaut who has uh, sent to Neptune to find his father. His father was huh. a scientist who was doing experiments on trying to find extraterrestrial life. Unfortunately, the experiments he was conducting have kind of uh, torn a little hole into the fabric of the universe. Uh -oh. And it is starting to affect life on Earth uh, to the matter of uh, tens of thousands of deaths. So we have to uh, try to st uh, find, first of all, Dad, uh, played by Tommy Lee Jones, and then stop Dad from doing these experiments. Tommy Lee Jones, I didn't Tommy see that Tommy Lee Jones, huh. yes. <laughs> but it is a really thrilling, um, a emotionally gripping uh, story. Really? Great effects. Phenomenal sound effects in this, um, and also visuals. Uh, Brad Pitt doing a spectacular performance. There's really not much to the movie. It's yeah. basically send Brad into space and hopefully get him back safely. But uh, it's uh, gorgeous to look at. It's got a great cast beyond uh, Pitt and Tommy Lee Jones. You have uh, Donald Sutherland, and you have uh, Liv Tyler and Ruth Nega and wow. uh, Natasha Lyonne. I mean, it's it's yeah. crazy. Liv Tyler cast. has some space movie experience. Exactly right. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> it was on her resume already. <laughs> she does. I I had a ball yeah. with this thing yeah That's it's good it's a little it gets a little pretentious here and there but um mm -hmm. it was fantastic I had yeah a great time. brad pitt actually got the nod from one of our space station astronauts who said it's probably one of the more realistic space movies absolutely made. they have like chase scenes in space and, yeah. and explosions but there, it's done without sound the way it is in space pretty um, awesome pretty great yeah cool. great see it on a big screen i'm cool. glad to hear that yeah all righty another one that, that you would say you enjoyed was uh downton abbey yeah <laughs> I, yeah this is a guilty pleasure uh, much <laughs> much like the show itself yeah i only made it through a couple seasons of the show and yes. then i was like okay i've had enough of this uh <laughs> but that was you know six years ago and so now i'm just i was in the mood i guess and yeah. so we are reunited with the crawley family in 1927 england the king and queen are coming to visit downton oh, abbey yes that's basically the plot there are a few subplots about <laughs> Uh, a broken boiler and a uh, missing uh, kitchen knife and uh, <laughs> stuff like that. It's silly plots. But uh, it's it's just, it's charming. It's it's characters that you maybe have loved uh, over the years. I saw it with an absolutely packed theater because this thing made a It made a lot of money. Of money. <laughs> Lots of money. And uh, the audience applauded at the end. They laughed at every single thing really? Maggie Smith says. Well... Because how can you, you not? Have to. Yeah, exactly. that, yeah, that's like a law. <laughs> that is. Um, it is. It was. It was perfectly delightful. Okay. Absolutely means nothing. You don't. You you could skip it without a problem. Yeah. But it was perfectly. And did pleasant. you hear from Zane? Did he get the give it the nod? Zane had so much fun. Okay, he yeah. gave it the nod. Zane All right. saw it a week Good. before I did. I wow. Mean, he was, he was, he on, was it. on it. Yeah. <laughs> All right. For sure. Awesome. All right. And of course, the one you disliked. There's always got to be one. <sighs> Man. Uh, Rambo. I hate being last, that guy. I hate being blood. that guy that's well, so predictable. That of course I'm not gonna like Rambo. Well, but I, you know, I didn't care for Rambo. <laughs> I actually he was didn't. Tired of it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I didn't mind the Rambo that came before this, like 11 years ago. Right. It was actually pretty solid. <laughs> um, but this and 11 one. years before that, and 11 years. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's going on forever. This one finds Mr. Rambo uh, having to travel down to Mexico. His uh, teenage ward has been uh, kidnapped by mm. uh, traffickers, and she's been uh, abducted. He has to go save her. Then he has to come back, and the Mexican villains who took his uh, his niece, basically, uh, go to his house, and Rambo's got the place set up with booby traps all over mm. the place. It's basically like, home, home, it's home, like home Alone for a 75-year-old. <laughs> and uh, it is it is crazy uber-violent, which uh, isn't a duper. It's not a deal breaker for me, right. but there's, there's nothing, nothing wrong going on in this. They mm. they go to he goes to Mexico, he comes back, lots of people die. That's it. A, a big part of the problem is that Stallone just can't pull this off anymore. No, I'm sorry. It's hard. I mean, he's, lo he's lovable as Rocky still, but right. Rambo not so much. Just an excuse for explosions and fake blood. It yeah. sounds like. All right. If you you know you'll like it if you. If that's why you're going. <laughs> Have a great time. All right, well, that film had a hard right. We're going to transition out of this week's yeah. movie with a hard left. Indeed. Even though this movie sounds terrifying, uh, abominable. <laughs> it does. <laughs> <laughs> but but it's not. scary. It's not terrifying. Um, but it's not. Look how cute he is. <laughs> uh, this is an animated comedy about a yeti in, uh, Ch in uh, China who uh, escapes from a lab, uh, goes to the top of an apartment building in Shanghai where he sees a billboard of his home, uh, home stomping grounds. <laughs> uh, a, a, 
perky tween finds him. Uh, her friends uh, join forces to get the Yeti back to his home while the people from the lab are trying to find him. Hmm. It sounds exactly like Missing Link, which we just saw this uh, past yes, February, uh, which was wonderful. Mm -hmm. And granted, this one looks perfectly pleasant, I it think. Does. You know, it's, the animation will be great. It's by DreamWorks, uh, which has done tremendous animated films. How to Train Your Dragon movies are great, of mm -hmm. course. Yeah, got a couple of celebrity voices in there, but not too many. You got Sarah Paulson, who's great, and you got Eddie Izzard. Oh, ah, Eddie Izzard. That's reason enough to go. It is, really. I, I believe so. <laughs> and Gerard so, Butler's not in this one. And Gerard Butler is so, not in this. <laughs> another reason. <laughs> yeah, basically, that's a reason to go to any movie, basically, <laughs> if Gerard Butler isn't in it. Uh, yeah, so we'll see. Could be fun. Could be fun. I'm bringing the young kid with me. She'll have a All great right. time. Yeah, you'll have to let us know what she says. I will, The absolutely. official review comes from her. Indeed. Not, not for you, from you next week. That's the right. truth. All right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, the next two are in Iowa City. So you got to go yeah. to the film scene for these. A couple documentaries coming at you. David Crosby, Remember My Name. Yes, indeed. Uh, mm -hmm. This is, of course, about uh, Mr. Crosby, who is one of the lead singers and songwriters for The Birds and for Crosby, Stills, and Nash. This follows him on his 2017 tour and uh, has him uh, re kind of reflecting on his life. He gets interviewed in the film by uh, Cameron Crowe, who's an Oscar-winning filmmaker who did Almost Famous and Jerry Maguire okay. and Say Anything, a lot of wonderful films. Um, but basically, yes, it's, it's the story of his 50-year career. Um, as those of you who know Mr. Crosby can mm. guess, there were problems with drugs. There was a problem with a prison sentence. Uh, he was not a big fan of Jim Morrison's, and they fell out uh, quite early. Mm. Um, so, yeah, but it's basically going to be a, a, a talking head documentary about one of the most legendary singer-songwriters of all time. That sounds like a pretty good reason to go for me. You know, I don't... Sounds I, like it. Yeah, love his music. Don't know a lot about him personally, yeah. um, except for... I don't think I've ever seen his face until now. Oh, so really? one of those things where okay. I know who he is, but I never really seen now him on you camera. Know. So. Exactly. Remember his name, footage. sir. Mm, yes. I will. And his face. His first name. I knew his last name. Okay. All right. <laughs> All right, next up uh, is... You'll have to help me. Is it Aquarella? Aquarella. 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 Yes, indeed. Okay. Yes. As the title suggests, <laughs> this is about water oh, okay. for 90 minutes. <laughs> it's about water. It is a largely uh, wordless uh, documentary. Interesting. Uh, yes, uh, by a Russian documentarian, uh, Viktor Kosakovsky, who, and it's uh, basically about uh, water in all of its many shapes and forms across the globe. Uh, and it has a few rescue missions of people being saved by uh, from ice flows. It deals a lot with uh, melting glaciers, as we can see there. It deals with typhoons and hurricanes, and uh, it is basically just a huge sensory experience of uh, all the things that water can do, basically, wow. for 90 minutes. Yeah. Uh, huh. As we all know, water can do a lot of really damaging things. Um, so, But the reviews are, are pretty sensational. Yeah. Just like the David Crosby documentary, uh, this opened at the Sundance Film Festival this past January. We're just getting it now to the area. It takes nine minute, nine months, I guess, to get right. from Utah to nine here. Nine months for 90 minutes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fair trade -off. Exactly right. But it looks, looks fascinating. Gorgeous. It looks great. Yeah, yeah really visual beautiful. Looks incredible. Uh, just make sure you use the bathroom before you go. Seriously, Running right? Running water always, you know. Excellent. Excellent mm -hmm. advice. All right. Sir. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for being here, Mike. We appreciate you got it. it. Absolutely. All righty. Interview the new movies this weekend. Abominable. That's a kid's movie. It's not scary. <laughs> David Crosby, remember my name, and Aquarella. No, Aquarella. There you go. I'll get it right one of these days. All right. You can read <laughs> Mike's movie reviews inside the Blaze Reader on Sands Everywhere and online at rcreader.com. And for more information, you can head over to arquadcities.com. We'll put all this information. We're back with more Living Local right after this.